Good evening, folks, <clears throat> or good night as it might be. It's uh, almost midnight here on the West Coast, uh, out here in San Jose, visiting my parents uh, with my with my baby boy. Um, and the reason I'm recording this tonight is because I wanted to post this question to uh, Occupy McAllen's Three Thoughts, which is why would we slash all human beings not want to end central banking. Um, central banking, which in its current form in the USA is known as the Federal Reserve System or the Fed. Um, and for a little bit of background, this Federal Reserve System, it beginning came uh, in, the, in the 1930s, I believe, when we were going through a similar moment in history. Um, and uh, a lot of different forces were aligned together, a lot of elite bankers, elite financial, um, kind of powerful types came together. Even people that had competing interests came together because they realized that if they could basically counterfeit money, um, which is fiat currency, which is just making money out of nothing, then they could get away with a lot. <coughs> a lot being the uh, over, is it $2 trillion, $3 trillion, $4 trillion we've spent on war, on killing 100,000 Iraqi people, um, this type of money also helped uh, fund the Iran-Iraq war, which I believe was in the 80s, where we, the United States of America, uh, we as taxpayers, our money uh, was used and abused to sell weapons to both Iraqis and Iranians. Uh, we helped spur this, this back and forth that ended up killing a million uh, Iranians and Iraqis. Uh, the Vietnam War, uh, we saw millions dead there. Um, that was in part a result of this Federal Reserve System, this ability to just spend recklessly with no checks. Um, I, you know, I'm imagining <laughs> the atomic bombs we dropped on Japan were linked to this too, although um, I guess I couldn't give you the specifics on that. But clearly uh, we have blood on our hands as a country. And I believe this is clearly, this is definitely linked to the Federal Reserve System, the central bank. <coughs> and to be clear, um, the central bank is basically, it just seems like the ring of power. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, ring of power. It's pretty simply put. Um, and it seems like people come along, and, and I was like this too, which I thought, well, if we can blow trillions of, on, on war, then why can't we blow, you know, or not blow, but why can't we spend trillions on this program or that program? But the idea that you can just make money out of thin air seems like the ring of power. It's just, it's too good to be true. Um, how can this possibly be used for good? The other thing that comes out of central banking um, or fiat currency is what's known as fractional, I believe it's called fractional uh, reserve banking where Basically, you only have to keep a fraction of what you claim to have in reserves. So before, you know, you would drop off your, you know, thousand dollars worth of gold. Um, I don't know how many ounces, and then you'd get paper in return. And that paper was basically a receipt saying that at any time you could redeem this for its equivalency in gold. Well, that link was blown away, and um, this whole fractional thing means that. You know, if, if you have, let's say, $10,000 in your checking account, the bank really only needs to keep $1,000 in its account. And so the truth is, is that all of us withdrew our money today, uh, the banks would, would shut down. Um, uh, it's called a run on the bank. Uh, why is this good for anyone? And, and, and if a certain bank thinks that it can make, um, you know, certain mathematical predictions based on, you know, well, people are never going to withdraw their money at one time. Okay, that's fine. Let that bank, you know, employ that. But why is that the practice of the central bank? Why is that the standard that's being set? And the central bank, this Federal Reserve System, um, we don't elect the people that sit on its board. Uh, I don't think even Congress determines that. Uh, the board is some sort of you know, it, there's, I think, some link to the president, but essentially it's other private bankers. The very banks we're protesting, they put people on the central bank board. So whose interest is it? Um, and to bring some focus to our Occupy movement, why aren't we having more discussions about this? 
so I guess that's why I'm making this video so that hopefully someone, some, someone out there kind of digs a little deeper and starts reading about this. Uh, you know, I at, am now 31. Um, I spent seven years, uh, about seven years of my life as a union organizer, um, you know, talking to whether it was minimum wage workers or, you know, people making a good six figures or politicians you know, mayors, city commissioners, whatnot. And in all that time, in all that experience, I never really understood the fundamentals of, of um, the U.S. economy, of the global economy. I was never explained it. Um, if you Google, you know, Howard Zinn or, you know, Noam Chomsky and uh, Federal Reserve or, or central banking, there's a big gap. You know, the, the very people that I've kind of, relied on <clears throat> to, to, to um, you know, uh, push past the veil of the mainstream media, even these people don't talk about these fundamentals. Why is that? Um, that's a big, it's, 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 whew. <laughs> it's, it's amazing to me that, um, that this, this isn't being talked about. And so I, I want to I want to pose the question in reverse: How is this a good thing? How how is fiat currency a good thing? How is central banking a good thing? You know, we want to talk about the redistribution of wealth. We want to talk about you know all these great you know um, programs that need to be brought in. But where is the fundamental? How do you fund things? How do you budget things? And if money can just be made out of thin air, then when can that then when can that ever be managed? Um, I'm all for de direct democracy. I'm all for, you know, 300 million or whatever Americans being able to, you know, bring up their smartphone, psh, press a button and exactly transmit their opinion. And so imagining we all had that power, would it be responsible for us to just create money out of thin air? What effect does that have on other countries, on other nations? This whole world is suffering under this Federal Reserve System and uh, we voted it into place, at least our Congress did. So um, to me, it's, it's, it's a huge, huge uh, gap in our understanding. Um, I think until we, we address it and, and really start talking about it in a meaningful way in our Occupy um, uh, forums, we are not going to make the progress that we're all hoping for in this movement. I'm, I think I'm going to be a lifelong member, <laughs> if you want to put it that way, uh, a lifer of, of the Occupy movement. But, you know, I'll, I, not that I'll be on the sidelines, but until we start talking about these real things, I think we're just going to be getting, you know, um, kind of little, little glimpses of, of hope, but we're really not going to make um, significant strides. So I see that I'm already eight minutes into this clip, uh, eight and a half minutes. I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and, and try to cut myself off here. I would encourage people to, to just start Googling about fiat currency, Googling about um, you know, the gold standard, Googling about the Federal Reserve System, how it came to be, how it took 70 years of a lot of organizing by elites to get here. Um, I think it's going to require the same type of organizing in reverse. I don't think it's going to take 70 years. I think it could be done in a year. Um, but we need to start understanding the role this plays and to think that somehow we're going to jump from, you know, the 200 members we have today <clears throat> to the, you know, thousands we would want to have in this movement to really make a difference um, without addressing these issues is is nonsense. And then... I guess I'll put it the other way. If we don't have the numbers, then how can we hope to affect change? A minority of us affecting broad change without the masses sounds like mob rule, right? I mean, sounds like a dictatorship again, a few people making all the decisions. So um, I hope people take this to heart. I'm sorry it's a late night clip, so I'm a little drowsy here. But uh, I will leave it at that.